Danger Man here, some final battle footage. I'm not going to lie to you, the camera shut down after about 15 minutes, so I lost the, the real intensity of the final battle. This is the beginning. This camera is mounted at the corner of the fortress. So I figured why not at least give you a perspective of the game before you flip over to look to the, at the regular videos on the channel. So let's give you a, a, an idea of what the final battle looks like if you've never made it to Top Gun's Alamo. Now, unlike Skirmish and other fields uh, where they have a fortress you can attack on all sides and it's an actual castle, this is made up to look like a fortress, and meaning that it's, it's not a two-tiered, there's no ramparts or, or tower structures. It's just a four-walled structure, uh, old school. And uh, one of the issues that I have with playing Final Battle on, on this particular fortress attack and defense situation is that you really can only attack on three sides. The back of it is against the back of the field, so there's only three sides to attack. And in reality, there's only two good attack points. And those are where the, at the corner, where I have this camera at the corner. So look here at the corner, and you look at the, uh, look at look down to the left side. If you're facing out, and you turn your your VR or your camera as you're viewing it to the left, you'll see a a wood line on the left side of the fortress. There's about 30 feet between the fortress and that wood line. No one bumps up that side and penetrates. It's just it's it's just a, almost like a, a waste of time to try to attack it on that side. Uh, every year, the folks at Top Gun do a really good job of building up more structures to allow the, uh, the Mexicans who are attacking the Texans here in the fortress to move up. A couple of years ago, this was just a big giant dead zone. It was a kill box. You, you just, you know, you're running across this field and you just had, you didn't stand hardly a snowball's chance in hell getting up to the fortress wall. Now, if you've got numbers, you've got, you've got a really good chance of getting to the wall. And, and that's what happened here. The, uh, the, the Texans held out for a good 15, 20 minutes, and then the wheels fell off, and then the, 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 uh, Mexican, you know, the Mexicans at that point just overwhelmed this, uh, this fortress. Uh, I started the day, I played the first half of the day with the Mexicans, and I could tell that they just, there was just an overwhelming number of quality players and paintball teams and such playing on the Mexican side and the Texans could use some help so I I switched in final battle to the Texans you can see me now underneath the camera with my red armband on and my uh, little skull cap and at this point if you look at what my position is I, I'm actually just shooting people as they try to make a move I'm, I'm trying to plunk a few long ball but on a whole I'm waiting for people to make a move and just throwing a rope in front of them You'll see that better when I put some, uh, uh, the, you know, standard video up, regular 2D. But this uh, this 360 video is about to come to an end here. I hope you got a good perspective. It's uh, it's going to get real, real busy. So I would look for the final battle footage of of the uh, Mexicans attacking and and, the, and myself on the on the Texan side on the channel and other videos, and you'll get some really good quality footage there. In the meantime. Just know that uh, this really does get nuts here. This whole field just fills up and goes crazy. This was a great game to play in. It was a wonderful day at Top Gun. Uh, they are super friendly there. So if you have not made this event in the past, put it on your bucket list. It really is a great day. And even though it's in the middle of the summer and the heat, you get to play almost the entire day in the woods under the cover of shade so you're not dealing with some oppressive heat. So please put it on your list. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment. I know this isn't one of the better videos, but at least you got to check it out. You got a good perspective view. See you in the next video, guys. It's too much for any man!